Yeah, I just picked up a message from Corinne. I mean, I knew my parents weren't the only ones who freaked and pulled their kid out, but I don't know things have gotten that bad. It's beyond bad. I mean, we've officially hit rock bottom. Corinne sounded, uh, sounded pretty upset. Is she okay? Corinne? Yeah, she's fine. Did she ask about me? Yeah, she asked about you, but she's got a lot on her mind lately. You know, I never would have gotten through all this without you. Same here. You're a good friend. You too. There's got to be something we can do. Maybe we can go to Avenue. And then? And talk to him, make him see reason. You know, save the wormhole, save the school, maybe even save Josie. Let me do it. I got an idea. Well, of course Corinne misses you, man. Why wouldn't she? I miss you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy, but uh, I know she's been hanging out a lot with Vaughn. It's, it's cool, but it's just <laughs> I'm not sure. Marshall, I, I gotta call you back, man. Lucas, what's happening? Dude, I, I gotta call you back. Lucas. Jump, see. <laughs> see, I knew if I waited long enough, you'd show up eventually. So, how long has it been? For me, a, a night, but I mean... You've been gone a year. Where were you? I know it was lonely. I can't remember that much. Well, I mean, we have to go tell the others. They are going to be so happy. No, Lucas, wait. No one can know that I'm here. Why not? You were a hole. I mean, I was wrong about Victor. We're not supposed to stop him. We have to help him. I have to help him. OK, well, we tried already. Victor refused to see us. He'll see me. But Avenir must not know that I'm here. Wait, you know about Avenir? I know some. And did you know he's closing Blake Holsey? There's much more at stake, but I don't have time to explain it all now. I have to see Victor. Well, I'll go with you. No. I need you to keep an eye on Avenir. We can't let him bring Vaughn to his side. Well, Vaughn's not so crazy about his dad right now, but he likes Avenir even less. Trust me, Lucas, please. I always have. I'll meet you back here in two hours. If I'm not here, look for me at Victor's. Like an exquisitely played chess match, all the moves have been carefully choreographed. The necessary pieces have been taken. Your opponent rendered to a strictly defensive posture, and a checkmate is nigh at hand. Come in. Vaughn Pearson. <laughs> Just the person I wanted to see. Come on, come in. Mr. Avenir, sir, I can't let you shut this school down, and I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to stop it. I'll buy the property myself if I have to. Really? I was under the impression that your father's fortune had been squandered. Not all of it. Oh, your trust, yes. How much will it take? Vaughn, let's dispense with all this nonsense about the school, shall we? I know why you're really here. Really? This is all about your parents, isn't it? Your woefully misguided father, poor lost mother Sarah. What do you know about my mother? A great deal. I know all about your father's research into time travel. How it led to the accident that took away your dear mother. It pains me to be the one to tell you this, but oh, your father is a very dangerous man, Vaughn. How do you know all this? That's why I came here, from the future, to stop your father's rendezvous with yet another disaster. I can't do it alone, Vaughn. I need your help. Victor. Miss Trent. How did I know you'd return at the depths of my darkest hour? Look around you, Miss Trent. I'm ruined. Have you come to gloat? 
I've come to help you. Help me? Miss Trent, ever since your arrival at Blake Holsey, you have been nothing but trouble. What if I have the answer you've been searching for? I know more about you than you know about yourself, Victor. Well, maybe you could enlighten me, because I don't seem to know very much right now. You've been cast as the villain in a drama that's beyond your control. But you're not a villain. You're just a person desperate to accomplish a goal that's eluded you all these years. And what might that be? To find your wife. To find Sarah Pearson and bring her home. Right now, I'm the only friend you've got. But if that's true, friend, you can start by telling me what this is. It crashed earlier today nearby the mansion. I don't know what it is, but I think it's from Sarah. I think you're right. When I touched it, began that countdown. The device operates on biometrics. Biometrics? Recognizing fingerprints, retina scans, voice prints. This type will only operate if touched by the right individual. Maybe that's why I'm here. If I'm right. There's a light. Focus beam containing a holographic message. Yes, one of the many applications for laser light, Miss Trent. What do the numbers mean? It's a date. The day you disappeared. Mr. Randall, don't we knock anymore? Where did you find it? Victor found it. Do you know what it does? Of course, so do you. I mean, now that you're back, we can do this together. Come on, punch the numbers into the keypad. A pendant belonging to Bond's mother, Sarah, fits in that slot. Sarah's pendant. The one I gave to Vaughn. Exactly. Wait, did he never tell you about that? No. I guess he kept a lot more from you than I ever gave him credit for. Where's the pendant now? Where's the pendant? That's a good question. It's gone. I mean, it's really gone. And without the pendant, I mean, we'll never know what the message is unless do you have another pendant. Perhaps we should ask Miss Trent that question. Clearly, this device was meant for you. You seem surprisingly uninformed about the situation, however. I don't have the answers. It seems the only one who does is Josie Trent. <laughs>